E2O is an electric car manufactured by India's number one SUV maker Mahindra. Mahindra Electric regularly competes in Formula One e-racing. Mahindra also makes India's most popular SUV, the Scorpio. E2O car is the second version of world's most beloved and most sold production electric car called the Rava car. Rava car and D2O car was created by a genius called Chaitan Mani in Bangalore, India. Rava car was sold in 26 countries around the world and Rava Gwis was the top selling electric car in the world. The following countries will ban petrol and diesel cars by 2025. Sweden France Germany Belgium Switzerland Netherlands Norway India and more countries are supposed to join the list. Chaitan had given India a 20-year head start in electric vehicles when he started his Rava electric car company in 1994. This was nine years before Tesla electric car company was even founded. A period when electric cars were considered not cool. The only kind of battery available then was the lead acid battery. As APJ Abdul Kalam says dreams are not what you see in the sleep. Dreams are something that doesn't let you sleep. Who would have thought that in 30 years time petrol and diesel will be banned in the entire world and every country will have to shift to electric. All kinds of vehicles will have to become electric, scooters, motorcycles, auto rickshaws, cars, buses trucks and even trains. The E2O. A smaller two-door car was launched by Mahindra in 2013. In the year 2017 Mahindra launched a bigger electric car called d 20 Plus which has a range of 140 km. Four doors and bigger boot space. e 20 Plus even has a quick charge option by which one can recharge the car battery in one and a half hours. The same time you require to recharge your phone. This E20 Plus does not require petrol or diesel. The best thing about an electric car is that you can refuel at home. Refuel in the sense you can relax at home while the car charges in the parking area. It even sends you a message when your charge is full. No need for petrol. Since this car does not use petrol or diesel which are very expensive and harmful fuel you can now save as much as rupees 1 lakh a year. The maths is very simple. With this car you will need just rupees 100 to travel 140 km. With petrol price at rupees 70 and a 20 kmpl petrol car you will need at least rupees 500 to travel 140 km. This means Z2O car will save you rupees 400 every day. The car has good headroom and comfortable seats for tall people. The boot space has been increased to match the Alto's boot. Rear seats can be folded down to extensively increase the available boot space. The car has hill assist and creep function which not only does not allow the car to roll backwards while climbing a hill or fly over in very slow traffic. You can also move the car ahead by slowly releasing the brake pedal turning radius of 4.3 meters. This is bettered only by the Tata Nano at 4 meters. The smaller turning radius helps you to zigzag in and out of the traffic, park easily and drive smoothly through congested lanes with ease making it an awesome city car. You can charge the car anywhere in India using 15 ampere sockets. Please note that most electric sockets in the house are 5 ampere sockets. 15 ampere sockets are those sturdy sockets which are used for connecting heavy equipments like refrigerators and air conditioners. Mahindra offers free charging points and you can also do the quick charge which will top up your battery in just one and half hours as quick as a phone charge. There are other paid charging areas for your convenience and also the online community at Plugin India has come together to organize free and paid community charging points between Mumbai and Pune and other tourist Smartphone connectivity with E2O Plus puts the car at your fingertips. Whether you are in home or office you can lock or unlock the car using the smartphone or even start and switch off the car air conditioner using your phone. The car also sends you feedback about your driving. 
it sends the service center routine reports regarding the health of the car. In case the car's health needs fixing the technician will come to your house to service the car. So you don't even have to worry about taking your car out for service, repairs or updates. The body paint of the car cannot be scratched off even in accidents. Do a little buffing or polishing and the scratch vanishes. At traffic lights get ready to be stared at with awe and respect. Electric cars are always the first off the blocks leaving even bigger engine cars and SUVs gasping. E2O gets instant dork the very moment the foot meets the accelerator. E2O always commands respect whenever waiting for the lights to go green. The E2O and E2O Plus dashboard is unique in itself. No other small car including Swift and Zyre or any other small car anywhere in the world can come close. It has the following. Reverse camera which even SUVs don't have. It is also a very important safety feature because children sometimes hide behind cars while playing. Digital speedometer and information display. Satellite navigation no small car has it. This puts the E2O light years ahead of the rest of the small car anywhere in the world. It is the mentality of a car maker that counts. Usually car manufacturers consider SUV the rich man's car and load it with all the goodies and look down at the small cars as if it is a beggar's car and do not load it with high-end interiors or goodies. Tata Nano is a perfect example and it took years for them to grow out of it. This E2O dashboard is Chaitan Mani signature. Great people think great. No other Mahindra electric car has this dashboard. Mahindra dumped the rave attack but this is something it cannot. As they say in cricket form is temporary genius or class is permanent. This dashboard will stay a long time to come. It was because Chaitan was not from the automobile industry that he had a different mindset and designed the car as he would like it to be. Generative braking happens whenever you step on the brakes it kind of refuels the car and increase the range a little. This is a fun bit because the dashboard displays the amount of regen the car just received from the brakes. The cost of the car is 10 lakh and 75,000. This might look three times the price of a Maruti Alto but while an Alto might become a rundown car in 10 years this car will be able to double its range because of better batteries in the future. The life of electric cars are more than 20 years and are considered heirloom cars that one can pass down generations. If you divide 11 lakh over 20 years you get approximately rupees 4,500 per month which is completely affordable and this amount can be recovered in 6 years time. And after 10 years it will look like rupees 450 because of inflation. On the other hand the cost of petrol and inflation will increase your refueling and car maintenance and service cost. Since there are not many moving parts in the engine of electric car far fewer parts have to be replaced over these two decades. Moreover electric cars can get updates that can improve their range and charging performance. All in all E2O is one of the best electric vehicles not only in India but also in the world right now. Thank <laughs> you.